So right now we're fishing, fish for a herring fish out in these points. And one trick that I like to do is actually run my side imaging that's mounted on the transom of the unit and network it up to the front. Um, and the reason I do that is because we've been fishing in about three to four feet of water on these fish. And your sonar doesn't tell you much there if you're running 2D. Um, but side imaging, specifically mega side imaging, has a great ability to actually see fish. So it will tell you um, whether you should be casting the port or starboard side of the boat. Oftentimes, if fish aren't eating, you would just assume that the fish weren't there, but mega side imaging will typically tell you, now that they're there, it's time to change up your bait. But one of the issues I used to run into would be when I would actually put my back unit into standby, it would shut off all the pinging. Um, so what we've actually done is created a function. If you have your Solex and you put it in custom mode, we have what's called standby sonar mode. And as standard, when you put it in standby, it says I'm gonna shut off all sonar. Um, what I actually like to do is I'll put mine into say, turn 2D sonar off, which means that the down imaging and side imaging is still pinging. So now, when I actually go into standby, it's only shutting off the 2D. So my dual spectrum chirp up front has no interference at all from what's happening in the back here, but it still allows me to run my side imaging up to the front while conserving power in the boat. So that's how I set up my um, console unit, and this is how we set up the front. So now that we've set up our rear graph, I'm gonna show you how we set up the front. Um, first thing you're gonna notice, my 2D sonar is running dual spectrum chirp off of the transducer up front. Right now I have a built-in Mega DI uh, Ultrax, so I'm running dual spectrum chirp. There's no risk of interference based on how I set up that um, back graph because I shut off the 2D sonar. Um, that's common of any sonar. If you have two different transducers firing the same frequency, in this case here, chirp um, with the 200 kilohertz center frequency, they're gonna read each other's ping. So I'm able to shut the 2D only off and run the imaging sonar. If you look up here now, you're gonna notice the imaging sonar is not running because I have to subscribe to the rear. And doing that is a one-time deal. I'll hit the power button in the sonar menu. I go to sonar source. Sonar source is where you actually look at all the different transducers and you can subscribe to them. In this situation here, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna look at the side imaging for this unit and I'm gonna say, read the remote graph in the back, which is running 455, 800 and mega, and just turn it on. Now you can see I'm, I'm rolling here. We actually have side imaging coming off the transom. I can make all my adjustments from the front screen. If I want to shorten the range to say 50, 55 feet, it'll change. If I want to change my sensitivity, maybe make it a little brighter, I can change it. So here's a good example of what I mean. Um, we've just been sitting stationary, clear as day. You can see three fish working a school of bluebacks. Um, the screen is just staying the same. We're painting in the same area. There's more bluebacks coming through, but we can see them. Um, unless you had side imaging on up at the front, there's another fish. You can see its head and tail. You can see its head and tail. You'd never be able to see this. So that's the reason I like to run side imaging up on the front. So what that does allows you to know, even if you're not catching them, the fish are in the area, stick it out, change your baits, maybe pull off a little bit. But that's really what this does. It kind of gives you a, an idea if the fish are actually there.